Life is like money, except with life, you can never get it back. Brand new topic, brand new video for today. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share the video. Let me know your thoughts are, and all is welcome, and God bless. Um, this is very, uh, very, very touchy. Um, many people that I've noticed online, YouTube especially, they don't talk about stuff like this. And having your life end is the most scariest thing ever when you think about it. Especially if there's a lot of things that you didn't even get to accomplish. A lot of things you may have regretted. Then you might feel like I'm leaving all these things behind and I have no one to share my life with. A lot of people right now are stuck. There's men and women who can't be able to travel. We can't do much, especially if you're stuck in the United States. There's not much you could do. Society is slowing, is slowly trying to open back up, but it's chaos. It's chaotic. A lot of people are eyeing you. There's a lot of people that doesn't trust you like that because of the COVID-19. All these type of cases, all these type of scenarios is happening right now. Now... I'm outside of work at my new job, and working got me thinking, what if I lose this job tomorrow because of the COVID-19, like I lost my other job? Because my last job was a government job. I was working for a government company, but I ended up losing that job due to the COVID-19 pandemic, due to this quarantine crisis. We all know what's happening right now where it's become so comfortable that people actually are lying to themselves, that they're accepting this to actually be the new norm. Last month, they said that this COVID-19 crisis was going to end. Last month, again, in April, they said the same thing. Everything should open back up. Everyone's going to be living normal again. That is not going to happen. This this conversation that I'm having right now, it may be depressing to a lot of people. It may be um, hurtful to some of you. A lot of people should just accept and face the truth. I said in my last videos, all these idiots, people who are delusional, even people who are very hopeful... They all want this pandemic to be done with. Money is not going to blow off very long term. Money comes and goes. Like the sneakers that we wear, the clothes we wear on our back, our hair. But the life that we have, the body that we carry with our spirit, which is a vessel, it's only once. You cannot get that back. You could get shot. You could get punched, kicked, stabbed. You could get healed from that. But at the same time, you can't heal a person's life back. There's no, um, like, there. there's basically, like, there's no second chances. There's no uh, nine lives like cats like you see in the Looney Tunes cartoons, things like that. All of that is fantasy and fiction. You don't people got to wake up this is the norm right now i don't I, that's why i tell people i'm not putting any doubt in people's minds i'm not being negative i'm being realistic and i'm being real a lot of people are not prepared for what is coming just then i don't know if um if anyone even watched the news or even go online to see news lately but there's a lot of prisons that are letting loose a lot of prisoners, ex-cons, on the streets because of the COVID-19, since it, it hit a lot of prisoners. So now they don't want to risk all the deaths in the jail cells and prisoners in prison. So now they're letting over 10 to 20,000 um, prisoners out of prison. 
so that a lot of things that the government is handling, they rather just make things easier for them because of this crisis. They don't want to deal with the deaths. They don't want to deal with none of that. So what is a lot of prisoners going to do? Especially if they're in an economy, they're also used to fighting to survive, all that. I, I may not have been in prison, but I, the documentaries that I've seen, the movies, things like that that we see on TV actually happens. You don't know what you will do if you was in that type of situation. The prison is even scary, and I wouldn't even want to ever put myself there. But with this whole COVID thing, they're letting a lot of prisoners out. Crime rates has been increasing. People may be watching this video and thinking to themselves, well, I don't see it. Well, I don't know. Because you don't know if it's happening because it's not around your circle. But it's happening. Your neighborhood near you. New York City has a higher crime rate right now. And I live in upstate New York. And I don't even live in the city anymore. And I'm just being real. If crime rate could increase in the city, it could increase anywhere else. There was recently a man, I believe in Illinois, or I think it was the state was Missouri, I believe. He was approached by two grown men that had masks on, knocked on his, on his door, acting like that they're the cable guys. They go, to, they go in saying, hey, what's up, bro? They attacked the guy. One of them got killed. The homeowner, the, the homeowner got a crime against him now. And one of the burglars that was with the guy got away. Isn't that some craziness? Isn't that some crazy mess? I work in a hospital right now. For those of you who are interested, I just started this job and I'm being honest with you. It's scary. I am not going to believe everything a conspiracy theorist is going to say. And I'm not going to be an idiot to say, oh, well, I'm not going to wear no mask. And I'm just going to go in certain rooms, the isolation rooms that I'm not supposed to go in because COVID-19 is not real. Yes, it is. This virus pandemic is actually real. People are dying. It's real. A lot of people want to believe that this is fake. A lot of these things are really happening. I no disrespect to Richie, no disrespect to certain YouTubers that are heavy on conspiracies. No disrespect to you guys. But the things that I've seen, it makes me, like, no, for real. It makes me want to... um It makes me want to actually be neutral, if that's the best way to put it. Because in all reality, a lot of people does not know what, what they should believe. We all know this is a virus pandemic. We all know this was planned. Bill Gates is on the rise right now. He's the, one of the most hated men right now today. And I wonder why. He's the same man that talked about um, population control and uh, depopulating the um, the country, right? And um, a lot of people are not going to take advice from a man like that. And he has no medical background at all. So he's definitely not to not to be trusted. If that if that's a good way to put it, he's definitely not in the position to be trusted. Say, hey, um, let's let him take care of this whole thing, and uh, Trump should take a big step back. People that's putting their lives on the line are actually getting infected. This is just depressing. We're in May 1st of 2020. People that last month, oh, this is going to end and blow over. Where is it? Where's the results? It's getting worse. It's getting worse out here. 
there was a few stores I just reopened up, but now you have to wear a mask to get served. Just like, for example, Chinese restaurants. I was just in a Chinese restaurant yesterday just to get a beef lo mein, right? The store is so freaking packed. Half of it is taken up and covered with plastic to avoid contact with other people because a lot of people are afraid that they could get this virus. So now, not only that, a lot of people are delayed, are being delayed, they're being very careful now. This is how bad it is. Fear has also made this worse. It made people overthink. I see a lot of people being more humble about their lives now. There's a lot of people that are saying that they want to get baptized. They want to finally change their life. But a lot of people aren't. In all reality, I want to be happy about it. I want to say everything is going to be okay. But I don't know. It's It doesn't seem like it. There's nothing wrong with trying to change yourself and finally waking up into a reality and saying, oh, crap, this is really happening. I got to get myself right. I got to get my whole life in order. I got to pray to God if, or higher power for whatever your beliefs are, because the Bible actually broke down revelations and the future. We're getting there slowly. This mark of the beast could be a big advantage to, to, to Bill Gates because the Bible called it this. The microchip ID 2020. You guys could do your research. OK. Everything that is happening. It, it makes sense and it makes no sense. Because now Bill Gates is in the picture. It makes people question about life. The money people are making on online on only fans we already know what the case is and what it's about we already know people are getting divorced we already know all that right but how when times are hitting hard that's when you want to value your life there's people right now that are stupidly enough to sleep with over 30 people without a condom on and they don't think of the consequences. They think that if the if the if the chick looks clean or the guy looks clean, then they must be clean. Her vagina looks clean. He looks clean because they look good. But when you get burnt, guess what? You can't blame anybody but you. You can't blame God. You can't blame Satan. Blame yourself. You are, everyone is given a free will to live and choose what they want to do with their lives. I'm just being real here. I'm not I want this to all blow over. But that's the God that's God's will if it's allowed. But all this destruction that is happening is because of man. A lot of selfish people out here. There is a lot of selfish people. And if there's a, even a second wave, if even Bill Gates say that this vaccine could take about over 12 months, and scientists said it could take about 18 months to find a vaccine, society is going to look very ugly. A lot of people are not going to trust one another like that. They're just not. It's just going to be crazy. It'll be, it, if it's not bad right now and it's getting worse with the face mask, you got to look at the videos on YouTube. There are states right now, crime rate is increasing. Prisoners are being let loose. What do you think they're going to do if, God forbid, there's a food shortage? What, is, what, is, what do you think people are going to do? I'm, I'm doing what I have to do. Take care of myself. My kids, family. I'm putting my life on the line working in the hospital right now. I'm not I, I may not be working with the nurses and stuff. I'm I may be catering. And for those of you who are interested in knowing the position. But look, 
the things that I'm seeing right now in the hospital, it is not beautiful. It's actually very depressing. Very, very, very depressing. So how life is, life is the most precious thing that we have right now. People don't know how good they got it until their life is gone. People don't realize how good they had it with having good people around their circle. Like, for real, like, people don't really know about valuing another person's life until that person is gone or they're about to die themselves. When you're on your deathbed, that is the most scariest thing that could ever happen to anyone. People cannot lie to me. And many people can't say that, oh, I'll be happy if I died. But when you're in that moment about to die, or you're dying and you know you're going to die, all of a sudden you do whatever it takes just to survive. Every man for themselves. People show their true colors. People go as far as trying to kill one another just to get what they want because they want to survive on their own will. There's people who also selfishly want the things of this world and they don't want to die. But then you know for a fact that if you're scared about dying, they already know that once they go, those things that they're dying with isn't going to go with them. They know that. Everyone knows this. Everyone knows that we were born naked and off naked we will go. Just like a newborn baby. A newborn baby wasn't born with the items, gold, riches of the world, technology, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All those things may sound good. Do you value your time that once it's spent, right? You can't, there's certain things you can't even get back from that, especially if you, um... Especially if you put in a lot of work acquiring a lot of the things that you worked on, on your grind. That's why time is so valuable that there's people that actually realize that when it's too late, I'm doing what I have to do on the side. I'm taking away from my time to put some value in that time. I can't get my time back. We're rotting every day. And it's very slow. Slowly but surely. For a few years from now, God forbid if if we even see 2021. No one wants to stress out every day. Thinking to themselves, am I going to die tomorrow or am I going to die today? If you don't want to have any regrets dying or have a death wish... Live right. Read a book. Work on your grind. You're out of work. Do something. Don't just sit there and complain all day on the media. A lot of people are not going to care. They're not going to listen. And those who chooses to listen, they might relate to you. And it's understandable. Everybody wants to be heard. Everybody wants to be understood. When it comes down to life, life is like money. But you can never get it back. People got to learn to humble and respect themselves. We're like on the edge of the world where the cliff is about to be, if it's about to break and we're about, we're about in the breaking point where we don't know if we're even going to make it out alive or not. Nobody knows. But how the results and everything is going, we're in May 1st and the COVID thing is still going on. And, they, and, they, and the society is saying, oh, let's just try to open up restaurants again because I don't want to lose business. If I had to choose between my own life, sanity, or a restaurant, of course, I'll put my life on the line. If this virus is actually a real thing. And if this virus is actually a real thing, I question some people. The 5G network towers should have infected everybody by now. Everybody. Uh, uh, there's so many theories that I don't even know what to believe. So I'm going to go by what I believe. 
There's a lot of conspiracies that are true. That are backing everything up in facts. For real. Boy. I don't even know what else to say anymore. I don't. <sighs> Boy. Anyways, this is Woken Red Put here. Peace out. Let me know what you think.